Welcome Aries and thank you for being here today. This is your monthly love message for October 2020. I've already pulled out your crowning message and your crowning wisdom message. So let's look at them right now. The crowning message Aries you have is wedding. This situation involves marriage. Interesting Aries. And your crowning wisdom message reads, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. And Aries, the card that represents you in this deck that I was drawn to pull for the October messages says, I am. And that I am is indicating that you are a natural born leader. You are the warrior of the zodiac signs. And I feel these three cards that are coming to coming in together, the overall message I feel is that as that warrior energy that you have, Aries, I feel as if you are fighting this connection. And this connection has the potential to be your marriage. And the wisdom that is being given here is that, you know what? You need to accept things as they are because that's what's going to give you inner peace. I almost feel that spirit is saying to you, you don't need to fight this connection. There is no point trying to change what has been written for you because it is out of your control. Whoever you're connecting with, whoever you're thinking about for this reading, I feel that you can't, you can't fight it. This, this is divinely planned, this connection. So it's almost as if put down your armour, put down your sword, put down your warrior energy. You do not need to fight this connection. Just accept it. And if you do, it will result in your marriage, I feel. Let's just go straight into your cards, Aries. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell us how does the soulmate of Aries, sun, moon, rising and Venus feel towards them in love for the month of October 2020? What is their current energy? spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Aries that we're allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all. As above, so below and all around me, thank you. Okay, Aries, let's see what's going to come up for you. All right, please can you tell me, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, how does the soulmates of Aries, sun, moon, rising and Venus, thank you. First card out is the chariot. How does the soulmates of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Feel towards, thank you. We have the Two of Coins. We have the Knight of Swords. Thank you. We have the Star. And one more please. 
How does the soulmates of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love for the month of October 2020? Whoops, that's far too many cards. I'm going to put them back and if any of them needed to come out, they will. Just one card, please. How does the soulmates of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love for the month of October 2020? What it, wow, Aries, the cards are just flying out. Just one card, please. One card for the collective of Aries in love for the month of October. Thank you. Queen of Coins. There we go. All right. Okay. Aries. Let's get some clarifiers. Okay. Please, can you give me some more information, some more in depth insights, please? To how this. Thank you. We have got the Five of Swords. The King of Coins. Please, can you give me more insight, more in-depth knowledge, please, regarding the collective of Aries. Sun, thank you. Wow. You have the Two of Cups. You have the Four. And one more in-depth card, please, to the question. How does the soulmates of Aries, thank you, magician, wow, okay, Aries, I feel that the person that you are connecting to with the chariot wants to uh, rush in to this connection, I feel that they are either accepting this connection as the potential for marriage and I feel that it might be after a period of denial. There's been some sort of situation um, possibly around communication that they have been fighting I feel and I feel that they are now surrendering um, to this connection and they want to fight and rush in I feel that um, they have felt quite imbalanced in the past with this connection. And I feel it's them. I feel they're coming in as the king of coins. Somebody who is coming in slow and steady. But when they come in, um, it's just it's going to be a solid offer. I feel that they are also... They also have the energy of the uh, Knight of Swords, somebody who's quite blunt, quite um, cuts through cuts through nonsense, um, quite serious, I would say. And I feel that they are seeing this connection or wanting to speak the truth or coming to the realisation of the truth that's been imbalancing them, that this is a twin flame with the two of cups. And they are now in a position where they do not want to let go of this connection because they are seeing you as their wish fulfillment. I feel that they have tried to turn their back on how deep this connection is. And I feel that the wisdom is coming in that, you know what, they just need to accept what is and that you are their wish fulfillment. This is divinely guided. You have lived many lives with this person. You may have been married in past lives, but with the star and the two of cups and the fall here in this, in this connection, I feel that um, it is divinely guided and they are, they are, where in the past they have tried to move away from accepting how deep this connection is, I feel that because it was unbalancing them, I feel that they are going to accept it and they are going to want to take a leap of faith. I feel that, you know something, Aries, I feel that as they were almost kind of denying this connection, 
it created um, a lot of problems within this connection. It's almost as if, you know, it, it never really took off. Um, there may have been poor communication or a bit in and out, but I feel that they're now surrendering and they will be victorious. Um, there might be a, a few bits and pieces I think they need to work out, but I feel the overall message is that they are um, realising how deep this connection is. I feel, Aries, that you're coming in as the Queen of Coins, the star. This is who they feel um, is their divine counterpart with the King and Queen. It's as if this person has woken up to this connection. And I feel, Aries, I feel that you've known all along, actually, that this person... Um, was your wish fulfillment and it's almost as if you've been manifesting hoping wishing praying that this person would wake up so even though Aries your main card for Aries says I am and it has that warrior energy it might actually be applying to this um knight of swords and I feel divine is saying to them you know what you need to put down you know that sword you need to recognize and accept this is divinely guided this is your twin flame this is your divine counterpart but i feel aries that you've known it whether you're male or female flip the script how it resonates with you aries but i feel that this queen of coins was manifesting this new beginning that this person would wake up and realize that this is a twin flame connection. Wow, very powerful. Okay, let's clarify. Please, can you clarify the answer to the question, please? How does the soulmates of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love for the month of October? Okay, that came out. Yeah, look, I feel that this connection with you really had them imbalanced. I've, you've got the two of coins that's come out twice. Um, they could be working on their finances um, and trying to balance out how they were feeling about you and, you know, their work-life balance. But, wow, well, okay. Um, but they they definitely felt unbalanced in this connection to the point where they were almost just cutting it off. It's like, don't want to know. They have may have felt this, this, this deep soul connection with the Two of Cups and the Star card here, but it's almost like they had that warrior um, energy around them. They may even have Aries in their chart, um, and it, um, Aries, if I'm being honest, or a strong fire sign but it was almost like they were adamant you know i am not i'm not you know look at that sword it's straight up i am not taking any nonsense i am not accepting that this is the person that i am supposed to be with and i feel for the month of october that um they're having a wake-up call actually and by accepting it accepting this connection for what it is which is divinely guided which is past life connection which is a twin flame is going to um involve a marriage in some some shape form or another the next cards that just kind of flew out in my hand you have the ace of wands the seven of wands and the ace of cups okay i've Aries, this person felt really unbalanced in this connection because the physical chemistry between you both was hot, hot, hot. And it created um, it created something that they were kind of juggling in and out, in and out. You know, is this for real? Is this... And, and to the point where it's almost as if they couldn't accept 
that this was a very deep soul connection. But I feel that as they are being awoken to accepting this connection for what it is, rushing in, putting poor communication, let's say, behind them or whatever ruffled this connection, they're putting that behind them, wanting to rush in to balance what has been unbalancing them and fighting for this connection. And what has been unbalancing them is this cup of love because it's two, it's a two-way street. With the ace, um, the uh, cup of um, the Ace of Cups, couldn't get my words out then. With the Ace of Cups, I feel that this um, unspoken love um, is reciprocated. I feel, Aries, that you have this unconditional love for them. They have this unconditional love for you. But I feel right at the beginning of this connection when you came into union that they were denying it you may have just you know what it almost feels like a bit of a runner chaser within this twin flame um and look at the dove coming in this is divine just guiding this connection and i feel that divine has been intervening um subtly in the background if i recall some of the readings that i've i've done from you know from september for aries i re i'm sure that there was one of the readings that said you know don't worry with this connection because divine is in the background working things out you may not see the results but divine is working on your, your behalf. And I think the reason was, is this person was just denying, deny, 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 had their barriers up, um, denying this connection. But I feel, Aries, that you are the person that's coming in with the queen of coins energy. I feel that you've known all along that this person was your divine counterpart, your twin flame. Please, can you clarify further the answer to the question? How does the soulmates of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love for the month of October 2020? What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Aries? That we're allowed to see for their highest good and thank you and we have the six of cups aries i feel that um they whatever they were denying whatever they were trying to block um uh, around this connection i feel that they are now seeing that this is um, a very deep soul connection and they don't want to let go of it because they are nostalgic over you they recognize that you have uh, lived past lives together you may have been married in past lives and i feel that they're waking up to that reality and now they with the three of coins i feel that they want to put in the work um to have this new beginning with you because they do see that you are their wish fulfillment they themselves might be quite spiritual, but it's almost as if they had cut themselves off from finding love and almost put that armour on to guard themselves. With the Four of Cups, I feel that they do recognise that this love, with the um, Knight of Cups as well, I feel that they recognise that you have been trying to offer this uh, cup of love. I always find for this particular deck that the person slumped up against the tree <coughs> almost seems kind of sad, unsure. You know, the cups here are all fully standing. You know, what they could have been used to in the past no longer serves them. Um, <coughs> and that's why I feel, Aries, that they were really fighting this connection. Um, they could see that the love that you were offering, I feel, 
um, but they just they just weren't sure. Sorry, Aries, I just need to take some water. I just had a bit of a frog in my throat. <clears> throat> um, I feel that um, they've, they've all along seen this, this cup being offered to them, but they've just not been sure. And I feel that they are waking up um, to this connection, wanting a new beginning, and they're coming towards you with this cup of love, um, this cup of emotion. And you know why? Divine has has intervened with the justice card i feel that divine has stepped in to balance out this connection and um, to give them that prod and that poke to let them know that you need to accept this connection because by accepting it it's going to give you that inner peace and there's no point in trying to change what i have written for you i mean i know that we have free will but for some reason divine just really wants this connection to happen you both may have um, a greater purpose here on earth together in union um, and it may be to lift up the vibration um, you know around you um, you're, you may you may even be star seeds um, that have been brought um, you know that were agreed to come to this earth in this lifetime to raise the vibration um, of humanity and I feel that with the justice coming in here this is divine balancing this out um, I feel that it's them recognizing also that they do want to reconcile they do want this connection because you know I feel that they are slowly but surely at the point where they are accepting um, this connection also with the justice card, um, you know, they may, you know, and the night coming in, they may already see um, that you and you and the person that you're thinking about could have been married in past lives. But they're in this hang mode, hangman mode. They are, they're, they're just stagnant at the moment. I feel they... Um, are not quite sure how to progress, particularly if they were, you know, no, not so receptive in the past, in the not so distant past. Um, maybe their communication was quite poor, you know, maybe there were communications or conversations that were quite cutting and quite blunt. And I feel they're in a period of really reflecting upon that. Wow. Your outcome is the tower. I feel that there was a tower moment between the two of you, for sure, which is why they're trying to put that, that situation behind them and fight for this connection. Um, with the five of swords and the five of wands, I think they, they are waking up. Yeah, look at that. They are waking up with the five of swords and the five of um, the seven of wands. They are fighting for this connection because they realize that you are you're the you're the one for them. And with the nine of wands here, I think that this is just reiterating some sort of tower moment had to happen. It was all, I almost feel it was an internal tower, you know, Aries. It was almost as if they were really fighting this connection and they are at the point now where they are just surrendering. I feel as if they are just battered and blue, you know, um, you know, this is known as the, um, the wounded warrior in the tarot deck which again just resonates with your card I am which is the warrior you are the fighter you are the leader they may have strong Aries in their chart um, Aries but this wounded warrior had to go through this tower moment and I feel it was in, an internal tower moment to recognize and wake up to this connection I feel going forward into the end of October, there will be back and forth communication, Aries, with the person that you are connecting to. 
what that communication looks like. Let's hope. Well, let's see. Yeah, the communication is that they want to reconcile. So whatever kind of, um, whatever disrupted this connection, I would say, you know, you know, not too far, not too long ago in the distant past, I feel that as they are waking up to this connection and how deep it is in terms of having lived past soul, soul lives together, they don't want to let go of this connection. They want to reconcile. They kind of want to just balance it out. It's on top of the justice card. They just want to balance out this um, connection. It could just also mean, I'm not saying that you've broken up and they, they want to come back together. It could just simply mean they just want this inner peace. And because they have accepted it and I feel where they have perhaps been fighting the connection, it's and and it's kind of like you know when somebody one minute they're in you know you're getting all of that love and those messages and those lovely gestures and then they pull back and then you don't hear nothing from them or you know they can be a bit blunt you know with their one-liners on their messages it almost feels as what they want to reconcile is peace for you both to be on that same page and what just what I am drawn to, look at the two hands in the two of cups and look at the two hands in the judgment. They are not letting go of this connection. They recognise that this is a divine connection. Potentially a twin flame. And the reason being is that they see you as the Empress, Aries. That's the bonus card that came out. I'm going to pop that there. They hold you in such high regard, Aries. Um, you know, I feel as if, you know, you are, you mean the world to them. They see you as abundant, beautiful, fertile. With the, you know, the doves and the birds there, I feel as if, you know, they're and the two fishes, it's like you both just they just feel that you just know them that you are their matching part you know you are you know when you think of Noah's Ark you have two of everything in this imagery it's almost like you almost have two of everything you are their you are their other half um and I feel that they are they have woken up to that reality um, and but for the month of October, I feel that this union um, will come into play because the situation has the potential for married. I'm not saying, well, you never know. You, they might pop the question to you in October. Um, you may be married in October. There may be um, a, a small percentage of you that I'm speaking to that um, are, are getting married in October. I don't know. But I feel that for the majority of those that I'm speaking to, this has been a battle. There was some drama that needed to happen in order to wake this person up and accept this connection because it's going to bring them in a peace. You have the star card that is clarifying the tower and the wheel of fortune. What did I just say? This is fated. This tower moment had to happen in order for them to wake up and see this connection as their wish fulfillment. To see, you've got the star twice. This is so divinely guided. I wouldn't be surprised if you were married in past lives, not just once, but several times because this connection is fated. Divine is absolutely um, um, orchestrating this connection. That tower moment needed to come down in order for them to have this awakening to this connection. And even though they are surrendering and realising and waking up to this connection, they are at a crossroads. They're not quite sure how to progress this connection. Please, can you clarify the outcome cards further? 
how does the soulmates of Aries? Thank you. Yeah, they don't know how to progress this connection because they perhaps feel that whatever tower moment happened in the past, that they are now left out in the cold. You may not be um, chasing them anymore. Um, and they feel left out in the cold, but they, you know, they want to give. They do want to give to this connection with the five of coins. But, you know, they don't know how to progress. They feel it's almost as, as if they're just sort of, they're surrendering. But it's like, okay, what do I do now? What do I do now? Does this person, you know, still feel the way that they felt, you know, about me, you know, a few months ago? Okay, wow. And then we have the world card. Um, a cycle has closed um, for this person, Aries, and I feel that they want a new cycle with you. You could be um, living a distance from this person, maybe across the seas, um, another country, another city, another state. Um, but they something has closed out and they want a new cycle. And I feel that the communication that's going to be back and forth between the two of you, you are going to know that that is what is happening. And you've got the lover's card, which is my twin flame in this deck. I feel that um, they want this new connection, this new cycle, a leap of faith, because they see you as this deep soul connection. And Aries, there you are coming up as the Emperor, your major arcana card. I feel, um, Aries, that the person you are connecting to has Aries in their chart. Strongly. Because I feel that they're the one that wants to reconcile. They're the one that has awakened to this deep soul connection. They're the one that wants to take this leap of faith. And I feel that they're going to be very um, bold and strong and forthright um, with coming in to let you know how they feel. They realise that um, they weren't putting into this connection and now they want to with the six of coins. OK, my angels and spirit guides. Oh, thank you. Wow. Wow. This tower moment, Aries, I'm smiling, um, is going to result in celebrations. Um, with the Three of Cups, they want to celebrate. This awakening that they've had um, to this connection, it's almost as if, you know, they've heard Divine's calling. They've, they've seen the signs and synchronicities. And they just want to celebrate. Look, the Queen of Cups, I feel, is you. They're surrendering to this Queen of Cups, who they see as coming in with this cup of love. With the Ace of Cups, the communication back and forth is all going to be about this equal give and take of this love. You love them just as much as they love you. You both may not be speaking it right now, but look at the cups coming out um, for the outcome um, for this this um, for this connection. Amazing. I feel that they recognize that the love that you're coming in is just pure, unconditional um, and they feel it too. This is this is equal. Um, you both feel this love, this connection, the depth of um, of how deep this goes. And look at this. You've got the four of coins. They are not letting you go here. They're not letting you go on this card, and they are not letting you go on the four of coins. Oh my days, Aries. You know what? This person has really, really woken up to this connection. I feel that they are holding on to you for dear life. You are in their hearts. You are on their mind and they are not letting go of you. Absolutely. No way. No way. Please, can you clarify the in-depth outcome cards, please? For the collective of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in love for the month of October 2020. How does the soulmates of Aries feel towards them in love? 
that we're allowed to see. Oops. Wow, look at that. You know, that fumbled on my thumb. And I was like, is it going to fall? Is it not? The sun. The sun on top of the um, star, on top of the three of cups. My days. This is just, I mean, the star is the best card that you can um, get in, in the whole of the deck. This is just victorious. Um, this is just pure happiness, pure joy. Yep, after moving away from this tower moment, the drama, the drama, the internal conflict um, that I feel that they were putting the, themselves through, um, they are moving away from it. And if you notice in this um, particular deck, the Six of Swords are all pointing down. This is over and done with. They recognise who you are. They are not fighting this connection any further. They see the victory. They see the joy. They see the happiness. And all they want to do is celebrate it. Wow. They feel bound to you. Um, you could be dealing um, with a strong Scorpio Aries. Um, but they they do feel bound to you. They feel that they, they are... They are, yeah, they're bound to you. I mean, what else can I say? Um, and they want to take that leap of faith. You've got the fall twice. They've really had a massive awakening. Um, they just feel that the, the, it's a soul contract that you have with them and they have with you and they can't fight it any further. They want to take that leap of faith um, really big time. I mean, it's come out twice, the fall card. Um but they see the happiness and it's gone. It's after a period you may be dealing with Virgo. They may have, this is the major arcana for Virgo. Um, they may have gone through a period of going within, trying to make wise choices, really going within to, you know, figure out, you know, why, why were they so adamant to just not progress this um connection and i feel that that tower moment that tower moment was internal for them wow look at that and the hierophant they went within be around this cup of love that they feel for you that you feel for them um seeking guidance wanting to make wise choices and coming out just knowing that you are marriage material Yep, you are the one that they want to marry, I feel. And I feel that that's what they're being guided to. And I feel that they are going into the end of October. They're going to be watching and observing you very closely because I feel that I feel that you that you were the chaser and for whatever reason, whatever happened, whatever non-communication, let's say that they were, you know, adamant that they're not participating. Um, I feel that you stopped running. You stopped chasing, sorry, which made them stop running. <laughs> that was the tower moment. And um, now as they don't want to let you go i feel that they are watching and observing before they come in with offering this um cup of love the king of cups coming in there wow let's see what your final outcome is please can you tell me the final outcome for the collective of aries sun moon rising <clears throat> and venus in love for the month of October 2020 that we're allowed to see for their highest thank you oh my days Aries the four of wands marriage oh my gosh that's what the celebration is all about yeah they've they've woken up and you know what it's it's on top of your sun card you know they they are do you know what? They've woken up big time at, to seeing that this, there's a real high possibility, Aries, that this person and you will marry. I really do feel that really strongly. Uh, the one, the four of wands, the hierophant, 
the two of cups, the star coming out twice. Oh, my days, you can't, you can't make this stuff. The ace of cups, the love between you both is just out of this, out of this water, just, just out of it. But you know what? Um, they are afraid, Aries. So I would say be real mindful of that. Um, I feel that they are still up in their head around this connection. And I almost feel that it is the residual energy of that tower moment coming down. So just be mindful of it. Um, yeah, just be mindful that, that they are scared. They are overanalyzing. Yeah. Do you know why? Because they don't want to be disappointed. They don't want to be disappointed in love. But they will fight for this connection, for sure, because you are the one for them. Wow. Oh, wow. Aries, I tell you, I'm just so excited for you. Please, can you clarify? Please, can you clarify the final outcome cards for the collective of Aries in love for the month of October? Whoops. Okay. Bending up the cards here, which is not useful. Um, so these cards came out first. So let's take these first. So I feel with the four of wands, this is, they're coming in slow and steady. Their intention, I feel, is to marry you. Um, it's going to be a solid offer because they want this reconciliation. They have woken up to this deep soul connection and they want to put in the work. But they are petrified, <laughs> Aries. I'm not. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it for you. They they are petrified. They do want to put in the work, but it also could mean that they want to put in the work to put this over analyzing that they're they're doing behind them. Yet yeah, because they are at this crossroads, I feel the person that you're connecting with might be across the waters. This image here in the two of wands, they're holding um, the world the globe in their hand, which they're at a crossroads. Um, and that is probably what they're over analyzing. They are, they are scared. You've got the 10 of swords here. They, they are scared of um, being disappointed, having their heart broken for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. And that's what they're over analyzing. But I feel that divine is encouraging them um to you know take that leap of faith hence the two falls coming out take that leap of faith because actually by accepting um this connection it's going to give them peace and i feel that they've woken up to that and you've got the nine of wands they're surrendering to this connection i feel that they are battered and blue um you know the wounded warrior which came up here um i feel that you know, they're just accepting it, um, but they are petrified that you're going to break their heart. They don't want to be disappointed. They are overanalyzing it, but they're going to come in slow and steady, slow and steady. And it's all to do with um, marrying you, I think, seeing you as that marriage material, that person that they want to settle down with because you, you bring them peace on a soul level. Forget anything else. Forget whatever they're fighting, whatever their ego was telling them, um, you know, what their warrior self might have been saying. Um, yeah, look, you've come up again with the Empress. They're surrendering to this Empress energy because they are fighting for this connection, fighting their internal conflicts. This person that you're connected to really, really went through this tower moment for a reason and it was to uh, to wake them up the person you're connecting to Aries they've probably got to a point in their life where they thought they're not going to meet the person um that they're supposed to be with so they had this this they had their barriers up they had their armor on um very much like a warrior um well that warrior is surrendering now to this empress coming up twice up here and here um and they are just fighting 
you know, they could actually possibly even recognize that there are there's other people interested in, in you and they need to fight off that um, that competition. That's another way that I don't know why that just came into my mind. It's probably to do with the um, six of wands there because you had the other ones that were kind of stacked up by the castle or by the arena. And you've got this one wall, one wand that is victorious. Um, which normally kind of depicts that there's other competition or other options. So this five of wands actually may be just reiterating that they may need to fight a competition for you. Wow. Okay, let's see what your soulmate message is for you, Aries. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me this soulmate message? Thank you. The first card that's come out says, I am forever grateful for your loving kindness and for the joy you bring to my life. You are a gift from the eternal heart of love, a blessing from a most benevolent universe. Wow. Have they woken up to this connection or what, Aries? That's all I can say. They've woken up to this connection big time. Whatever they were avoiding, whatever barriers that they had up, um, Divine has, yeah, really worked with them um, to, to, to break down that tower um, within them, actually, and recognise this connection for what it is. And perhaps, Aries, all through this process, without you even realising it, you were still showing them love and kindness, and I feel on a soul level, they are letting you know how much they appreciated that. Your second card, soul mes soulmate message says, love and respect your loved one's opinions, but remain grounded in your own truth. You are both wise and beautiful souls. Everyone has a piece of the truth. I feel that this is divine coming in, giving you both messages to your souls recognizing that i think it's really important that you know when you meet you know your twin flame your deep soulmate we can have many many soulmates but i i am a great believer that you only have one twin flame um that you agree to have many many lifetimes um, of experiences to grow and develop and evolve to take you on to that next level of your spiritual journey your learnings I feel that spirit is just guiding and reminding both of you that as you go through this journey that you need to just love and respect one another's opinions but remain grounded in your truth and Aries I almost feel that that's what you've done um and because you have stayed true, you have shown kindness and love, um, perhaps to somebody that, you know, that you at times thought was probably a little bit cold towards you, but you saw the connection. And I feel divine is just reminding you that that didn't go unnoticed. And your final card, it says, let go of inhibitions, be creative and allow allow your imagination to run wild. Your love life will transform in ways you never thought possible. And I feel that could be for both of you, um, Aries. I, again, I just feel that it's time to, you know, let go of the facade, drop the, the um, armour, you know, drop the warrior attitude, maybe for both of you, I don't know. You know, flip the script to how it, it, it resonates for you. Um, and by doing so, letting go of those inhibitions, letting go of the trials and tribulations and the hurts of the life journeys that um, you are on up until this point. It's just, you know what, just let it all go and just accept this connection because it, that's what's going to give you peace. Um just accept it as it is. There's just no point in trying to change it because actually it is beyond your control. 
absolutely beautiful message, Aries. I'm going to leave it there. Um, if this resonated with you, please feel free to um, click the thumbs up to push the video out to other Aries that need to hear this message. Um, and uh, subscribe if you wish. It may be worth checking out your moon, rising and Venus signs to see what further messages um, come through to uh, give you a different perspective um, of this message that you have heard today. Okay, Aries, I am leaving it there. I shall see you next week for your weeklies. And um, right now I'm just sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.